Hello everyone, Night Guy here. Gonna do another quick unboxing on a new piece that I got in from Nautical Handicraft. Um, I believe I've gotten some armor previously from them, maybe a sword or two. Um, so, you know, the stuff that I got, I definitely liked and enjoyed. I'm definitely pretty sure it was armor. Um, so I'm looking forward to this one. This one should be fully functional. This one should be fully edged. Um, this is a sword, supposed to be um, like a Viking styled sword. Um, I don't remember exactly what century it was advertised as, but I will look it up before I upload this video and put that in the description. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get out of the box. So I was very curious how this sword had such a uh, narrow box. And I see there, this one comes um, kind of disassembled and you have to put the cross guard on. Now if you can see in there, the cross guard is on the other side here. So uh, there's the pommel. It should be a high carbon steel blade. So this will provide me an interesting opportunity. I can show a blade disassembled. <clears throat> You know, um, normally I don't take my swords apart until I do some damage to them. Well, let's see here. Um, it's sort of supposed to be uh, sharp, but there's no edge on this. It is definitely a dull edge. I can run my fingers up and down and nothing. It's nice to know. It has a nice point. So... With this blade, I may actually just, uh, you know, uh, dull out that tip, grind it down, round it out, and turn this into a sparring blade. This thing is very light, coming in at about three pounds, a little bit under three pounds, honestly. But I haven't put the, the cross guard on. Here's the cross guard. Nice uh, forward swept cross guard. So let me actually take it apart. This is a threaded on pommel, so you can see the tang job. So there you have it, the sword fully assembled. There goes the tang. Doesn't look too bad. It looks like it was, I wanna say it's two separate pieces that are welded in there. But not bad, there's the uh, handle, just simple leather wrap. There's the uh, pommel there, a little retaining nut and washer and my uh, cross guard ready to go on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece together. And so there you have it, nothing too impressive, nothing to write home about. Very crude uh, design on this sword, I wanna say. But um, it's exactly what I expected, you know, and it's exactly what I wanted. I only paid 99 bucks for this sword. Um, I was hoping it was sharpened, but if not, that's fine. And I think it still make a great reenactment. Um, LARPing blade if they let you bring steel swords wherever you're going uh, Not to mention A decent decent sparring blade. We're definitely gonna use it um, You can see the cross guard proportions are a little uneven um, You know, and it's a little You know leaves a little to be desired on the blade. I found one nick right there And maybe that's why they You know had dropped the price on it. I don't know if you can see that there Anyhow like I said, I can't complain. Um, I uh, like having some cruder swords, especially if you're doing like a reenactment, you know. Not everyone on the field would have a very expensive piece, especially not on a battlefield. I don't think people would bring their expensive pieces. So I think this, in some ways, would be a little more accurate for that scenario. And, you know, um, I, I, I'm not a rich by any means, so, you know, I like to feel sometimes, you know, that... Uh, realism of being you know like a foot soldier especially when i gear up and you know i think a common foot soldier would probably have a more crude uh, sword probably something exactly like this i don't know what do you think let me know if you like it what you think of it um it, it just came the blade there's no sheath or scabbard but i can't wait to use it thanks for watching night guy